April 2nd, 2016, winner of the night, Steve, who played Cosmo. <laughs> All right, so we've done this profile before, so this is an update. Show us what's new. Okay, what's new? Um, first up, old rare dark destroyers. Ooh, let's take a look at that. Yeah, Ooh. that's after I sold mine to build paint base. <laughs> nice. how, how, how'd that work out for you? I made a deck. <laughs> I made the deck. Um, it's not as good as it was when I first built it. Yeah, adjusted list, right? Adjusted what list. you gonna do? Yeah, what I'm gonna do? Um, one dark eclipser. Uh, this comes in handy for like the rogue matchup. Um, it's trying to get all the traps. Uh, one dog fighter. I like this because uh, it gives me the token. Mm -hmm. If my opponent gives me two turns on dog fighter, I could actually take a game. Hmm. Um, one farm girl. This is kind of disputed. Um, one. I, wow. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I just went with the build that I made like a couple, maybe a month ago back. So, and I don't have a lot of time to play, so it's like I just go with what I know. Uh, Forerunner. Um, I just like it for the Cosmo ladder going down. Um, three slip riders, uh, pretty standard. Also, um, infinity. I'm interested in One sword troopers um, lets me get any psychic monster and lets me make rank threes potentially. Strawman um, combo piece. You can go strawman, dark destroyer, then do anything that you want. Um, MVP here. Uh, Tin can. Tin man, R2D2. R2D2, yes. It lets you get anything. As we saw in that last video. Uh, it let me get the Cosmo Joy I needed. And then uh, the build that I've been working with, a two Wicked Witch. Um, Which are not gold rare, by the way. Just, just pointing that out. Not yet. I'm trying to get the chrome <laughs> finish. Um, wicked Witch, uh, she can protect my uh, field, and also you can overlay her to make rank four. And that's pretty much what I kept her for. And so that's the monster lineup. Um, he's in the side. Um, spells. Three Itali, standard. Um, three Cosmo Town. I'd been on the fence between two and three Cosmo Town, but it, it eventually came down to like whoever has Cosmo Town generally controls the whole board, so it had to be three. Um, and then this kind of debatable too, it's a reasoning, um, I found the reasoning one to be like the fastest and most like unpredictable way to win, because you, you might just pull what you need and then you can go into OTK mode. I'd just like to say on behalf of all Infernoid players, we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, but I can all switch out, as you'll see yeah. in my sideboard. Uh, two Twin Twisters. Um, Mainboarded Twisters, nice. Yeah, so I mean we're twin twisters. Uh, there's enough threats going around to want to mean more. At least two twin twisters. Um, sometimes I mean, I mean three, but um, it's hard to use like if there's a deck that you don't actually need twin twisters for to have three. Uh, and then three upstart goblin. Uh, I use this because Cosmo, it's kind of a slow engine to start. So uh, upstart goblin at least lets me dig through my deck some. And then uh, my side for three call the haunted. Uh, that's pretty standard. Uh, Cosmojo. Uh, the way the format's going, I could actually run three of these. Um, I just ran two because um, it, it was pretty new for me, like uh, going back into Cosmo, going back to tournament, and then Solemn Brigade. It's totally worth the investment. Even if they're hit? Totally worth the investment. <laughs> I'll just resell them to anybody who needs them. This is true. It's true. And then extra deck. Um, Cyber Hidden Dragon. Um, this could actually be a uh, Barbaroid, but I don't have it yet, so mm. this is the second best for me. Um, two rank threes um, Acid Golem and Nightmare Shark. Um, it, well, in case I need them, I didn't get Break Sword when it was cheap enough, so <laughs> that's what I have to work with. And then a rank 4 engine, um, Fist Dweller, Castell, Cowboy, uh, and Diamond Crab King. Um, 
This should be Utopia the Lightning, but... But it's uh, not. I have to get around to that even. What about Giant Hand? Uh, I don't really need Giant Hand for this deck. No, it's more, I would go into Utopia the Lightning to get over anything big. big yeah, that my ships can't kill, because my ships are capped at 3,000 attack. Megazord. And Megazord. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'll get around to it eventually, I think. Mm. And then rank 5 engine, Durandal, Pleiades, and Nova. Nova I was gonna say. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, these three are kind of standard. Sure. Nova lets you go into infinity. Nice. And then Durandal, uh, it's kind of optional. Um, I just had some extra space in my extra deck, so mm -hmm. I put it in. And then, um, oh yeah, with these five, you can always do that. Guy Dragon. Nice. I used this once at regionals, it let me take the draw game. Like, without this, I would have I would have had a draw game at regionals, which wouldn't have looked good at my record. And then two rank eights. Um, oh, that's the ones right there. Yeah, Lancelot. Um, I haven't really gotten to use this much, but I know it's pretty good. Um, this I used once against a Pepe deck. Um, I took the game. And sideboard. Um, so pretty much the newest threat uh, in the meta game is uh, PK Fire, Phantom Knights, Burning Abyss. So for that, I put these five um, C's. Max C and Flying C. Yeah. So then, if I need to, I'll just swap out the reasoning for the Max C. Because then I'll just use this as the engine instead of reasoning mill. Hmm. Um, Flying C will just shut down their plays. Um, I did go up against a PK Fire player in this tournament, so this really came in handy. Um, after I cleared the board and just left this, it was like you couldn't do much. Um, right, Geki. MVP. Uh, yeah, just yeah. clear board. Always. Uh, extra well. Twin Twister. Always. Um, we have one player playing Megazord, so I had Xyz Encore. Pause. It's that dude right I there. Because it can't be affected by the Continue. Yeah, in retrospect, Xyz Encore probably doesn't hurt Megazord as much because they can just bring the three materials to make Megazord again. Add Megazord to uh, uh, Probably next time I'd go with um, <laughs> Cyber Dragon Core. But that's in hindsight. Um, I was thinking we might have Monarch players, so I put all these in. I'm the best Monarch player around, bro. <laughs> uh, this recorder will not say anything to that statement. <laughs> <laughs> so three mask could be strict in case we did have any Monarch matchups. Uh, I didn't see any. And Magic Deflector to protect my mask of restrict. Wow. Yeah. Ma protect mask of restrict and also prevent Monarch plays from happening. Because... Uh, Cosmos like lose to Monarch Stormport in like, the most tragic way for them to. Our Monarch players got bored. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then uh, Skill Drain. Um, I wasn't sure if there were any decks that were gonna be like uh, low attack monsters that I could just put Skill Drain and be like, ah, big ship. But uh, nice. I didn't actually get to use it. So. All right. So you went 3-0, right? Uh, right. Four, oh, sorry, 4 sorry, oh, 4 0. Oh, perfect score. 4 0. Oh. So, what was your toughest duel of the night? Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's say PK Fire. PK Fire? PK Fire. I mean, like, if I hadn't drawn into my max C's and flying C's, it, it would have been like one sided. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe this is the third time that you've top topped in this tournament. Um, I've top topped a number of times. No, I mean, you know, overall finals. Finals, finals. Uh, um, yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well? Uh, yeah, uh, please subscribe to our channel, YouTube. Um, yeah. And keep following, because someday Adam will get a little bit closer. <laughs> Peace.